All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Stray Part Three. If you haven't seen uh, Part One or Part Two, they'll be in the link in the description down below. Uh, where we left off was we collect the four notebooks, and now we have to deliver them to Momo. I'm doing something a little bit different. I am actually recording these uh, today. Uh, not that some of you care, but um, normally I uh, stream them at twitch.tv slash oski0624. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, continue off from where I left off. Alright, so we collected the four notebooks. Now we need to go to Momo and hand deliver him these notebooks so that he can fix his transceiver. See, the problem I'm going to have in the near future is if I have to figure something out, I am not going to have chat to help me. Normally, normally I have someone in chat help me because I'm just horrible with uh, puzzles for some reason. Let me hand deliver these to him. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? No, I have them. Oh, you found Clementine's note. She was really brave. You know, the most fearless person I have ever met. That's Zabralter's notebook, right. I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, we actually found all my friend's notebooks? Yes. Well, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine Zibaltaz. Doc, I'm sorry. I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we must be able to find a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Agreed. Look at Momo, hard at work fixing this thing. So I can go back with my other cat friends. It works. Come with me. Okay. Where are we going? Up there. See that building high above the others? The one with the orange lights? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city? My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. I've gained an item, the transceiver. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the zergs. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Rooftops. I don't like the way that sounds. It sounded very eerie, very, very creepy, like meow. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Holy. Okay. I have I have no idea what those little ball things are. Should be something I could jump on. This. Has to be this. Get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. Okay. Oh, so I gotta, like, divert them away from me. Oh, my God. Alright, get on here. I gotta think like a cat. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again? Wow. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like outside. I think it helped. We're gonna get my man's memory up. Oh! Oh, I see. So am I supposed to go this way? Right? No, I can't jump on that railing. I need to move this barrel over here. So that way, I need to not also knock it off. There we go. Now jump up. Jump on here. Oh, shit. Do I need to time this right? I have to time that right. There we go. Ah. This, very, this is very interesting. I like this. I'm getting closer and closer to this building. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Hack door. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I think maybe I was supposed to lower them. I gotta use my big brain.
Oh, there we go. That way they can't get to me. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, all this weird gunk. Very nice, very nice. What does this say? Portion? Or part? I don't know how. I don't know what that's saying. Here we go. I go in here. Oh. Ooh, this does not look. This does not look pleasant. Let me jump up here. Get on over this fence. Oh, I see more of those. Okay, so they're. They are indeed here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I need to get there. So I might need a. I might need to make a break for it. Go, 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 go. Jump. Jump. Yes. Space. Let's go. I juke those things. I bet you there's more. So let me get up here. Right? Let me scope out my area. Yeah, they're over there. Um, get on this box. Right? Okay, so I need to hack the door. Get them trapped on the other side. So I need to find a way to unlock this door and run here. Okay, so I have to time this. Get out, get out, get out, get out. And then hack this door back. Yes, sir. Let's go. Okay, so... I don't... Okay. Hold on. Where do I need to go? Do I need to take this barrel out? I do. I need to take it out. Get off me. Hooligan. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Oh, shit. I missed, I missed, I missed. Get off. Get off, get off, get off. Okay, can I make it? I can. Sweet. All right, oh, well then. Oh, 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 okay. Well, you guys can just come after me. Let me just get on up here, get here. Oh, this is very high. So here's another lever. So is this for like an elevator? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I, oh, oh. Oh, shit. It won't let me up now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what I need to do other than play Ring Around the Rosie with these things. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hack it. Wait, how do I get in? 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 Oh god. Oh. Alright. I'm in it. I'm in it. I have no idea. What are you? Oh, jump up here. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, I finally made it to another save spot. Use item. Oh, is this where I use the transceiver? Yes, it is. Now I can contact the whole entire city. Let's go. Wow. So cool, man. I'm communicating with the outside world. Or the entire city. Alright. So I'm heading towards this bucket. Does that mean I need to go back to Momo? Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. Indeed it is. I remember now, the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren and unlivable and dangerous. Yeah, sounds about right. If you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. 
I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I am certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Is it recovering? A lot more now. Oh. How is there a convenient bucket there? That's what I want to know. Ah, uh, the victorious licking and bathing of myself. Let's go. The slums part two? Wow, sounds like a title for this video. Nah, uh, I'll be more creative than that. Um, Look a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code is open. The code to open it, it's quite simple. It is... Oh, yeah, sounds like a simple code. Be, be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window. There must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Use B12? Wait. Here's the lock from the window. The code was... Hmm. I think it was an H, I think. Air wrong key. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was O or zero. Let's see. Success? It worked? Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Oh, I thought I would have to actually find a code and figure it out. Hey, Momo. Hey, little furball. Hello. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Bet. There we go. Ah. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Oh. Whoa. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that Zab Zabaltas? I don't know how to say this man's name. <laughs> Momo, uh, I I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zibaltaz. Uh, where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, psh, we are safe. Psh, we found a way up. Psh. Hello, do you still hear me? Do you have to go through the sewers to reach us? Ooh, very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers, how? Hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zipaltaz is alive. He and the others outsider outsiders managed to go through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zipaltaz made it, there must be a way. Why the sewers? <laughs> You never get, you never get past the sewers. If it's infested with zerks, they'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Okay. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be great scient be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapons to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Am I going to get a weapon to fight the Zerks? Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared. Like if... Like, like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where it, he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus's apartment. Come on and follow me. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. 
This situation is pretty tough on Sumos. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. I was waiting for him to stop speaking. <laughs> so I could read. Oh, convenient. Here, take stock notebook. It will show and show it to Simos. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as a uh, electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. Little outsider. I'm going to go back to the bar, try to reestablish communication with the uh, others. Oh, okay. Hey, man. What are you doing here? I told you to get. I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. No, I refuse. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? There's a keypad. Oh, there's a digit code. I need to look for this clock. What is this clock? Um. Wait. Two, five, one, one? Two, five, one, one? Is that it? Two, five, one, one? Two, five, one, one. Oh, I'm a fucking genius. I'm a fucking genius. Oh, bro, you need to clean up a little bit, man. Ooh. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. As he should be. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and never came back. I'm sorry, man. I know that must be devastating for you, bro. Translate. Robot news headlines. Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal? Find anything interesting in here? Probably in this box. Yep. It's this broken tracker. Let's show it to him. Where is he? Come here, bud. Yes, I did. This. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used to use that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe it. My Papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. Aw, oh, poor Simos. You need a weapon for the Zergs, right. My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Oh, so it's not even here, it's just a broken tracker? Come on, man, open the door for me. Open that beautiful door. Oh, well, I went through the door, okay. You gotta fi you gotta fix that tracker, you're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. What a beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little well, you'll see. His name is Elliot. His office is just left of here near grandma's shop. There's there are signs all over his door. Why thank you. Oh, Hey, man. What is this? Translate. Program to be slaves, but since 254487555, days, we have a sole hope. One day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell. Momo. Alright, let's find Mr. Elliot. Hello, good sir. All right. Yes, can I help you? Yes, you sure can. 
Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize the model. It's Tahami BR2000. You can track anyone with it. This little gadget, may I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something just feels sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I need a blanket to be able to fix this tracker. What in the world? Okay. All right, so I think this is where I'm gonna call it for uh, episode three. Um, let me know how you guys are enjoying this uh, series in the comments down below. I'm actually very much enjoying it. Um, as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in part four. Bye bye